Hi guys! Welcome to our private Merry <laughs> Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to our Fry Fell! So, um, with me right now is Shaira, one of our young people. And right now, um, as we have our Fry Fell Fellowship, um, I just wanted to become an interactive one. So, it's like, uh, mato kami ni Shaira. And actually, you can also comment down uh, anything you want to say as well. So right now, um, we are going to talk all about um, spiritual growth. So Shai, guys, we are going to talk about spiritual growth. Right now, we actually who is. Of each and every day, we need to choose more. Yes, amen. So that's <coughs> it. So um, if you struggle, Shai, you struggle, I am going to struggle. As being one of your leaders, man, sa, sa, sa young people, no, you may think that Sinang Mario, na muni, nang amuni amuna, pero no. We are all in equal footing for our Lord. So, but before that, um, let us all come into the presence of our Lord and let us pray. Let's pray. Um, yes, for you, Lord. Um, right now, here we are, humbling ourselves before you, um, acknowledging that without you, we are nothing. And Lord, as we have this interactive fellowship with one another, Lord God, I hope that we will all learn and everyone will be encouraged help us to long for you every day of our life and let the holy spirit speak to us um hide us in the shadow of your wings use our mouth for god now ako and can share your god to share your message and even though online lang kami now um the people the young people na mag watch the lord is mafeel manila man. um you are with them as you are with us and we are um, all one in you. So, Lord, be glorified in our life. We are going to surrender it all to you because, Lord, again, we confess without you or nothing. So, Lord, um, ikaw with mega bless in your fellowship. Um, praise us and glory be upon your name. All this was in his name, may the power of the Spirit. Amen. So, right now, no, ang word ka is ma keep on, or ang title, gali is ang devotional, na ipag share ko sinyo, is about one step at a time. And it talks about our spiritual growth. And para bi sa atin kis a nang kumagrow ta kay Lord is na si Guy per inde. Di ba siya? Yeah, amen. So para ang atong yung scripture text makita sa Mark 4 verse 26 to 29. So basa ko nito ni siya nga may pinagsinab na na ni si Guy. So suguran ko na na. So and guys, I also encourage you as you as we have this fellowship also get your Bible so that we will all grow together as we sing read your Bible and pray every day as we grow 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 so that's it amen so in tang kung wala pa kang Bible so wong kwa lang sa Bible niyo so I will just count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten boom okay so Verse 26, Mark 4, verse 26 to 29. So, verse 26, Jesus also told them this parable. God's kingdom realm is like someone spreading seed on the ground. He goes to, to bed and gets up up day after day, and the seed sprouts and grows tall, though he knows not how. Verse 28, all by itself it sprouts, and the soil produces a crop. First the stem, uh, first the green stem, then the head on the stalk, and then the fully developed grain in the head. Uh, 29. Then when the grain is ripe, he immediately puts the seagull to the grain because harvest time has come. Amen. So as I know, I'm struggle, man, just spiritual life, niya kamo. 
struggle makamabuhay sa spiritual life niyo, comment down. Comment down now. So, yes. So, ako mismo, mag struggle mo ko sa spiritual life ko, no? So, I just wanna share to you kung nga, uh, amon ni siya, um, ang verse ang inhatag ni Lord sa ako. So, that time, when I was in Cebu, I struggle ko actually about it yes, sa spiritual growth ko. And dito ko lang na-realize na even though I've become a leader of so many years sa, sa church, naging care group, leader na, naging disciple na, but dito ko nakita na naging sagnan ko gali. And dito din pa-realize si Lord sa ako na obligation, um, nag-level up, ang ministry, ang ginpang interest ng ministry sa ako, nag-level up, nagdamo. Pero, ang fruit within me, naging stagnant. So, uh, Diri ya gin amat amat pabugtang ni Lord sa akin. And dito ko nag-struggle because I face the reality of my own spiritual growth. So, okay, namnamon ta amat amat ang verse ni Hatag ni Lord sa akin. So, Jesus also told them this parable, God's kingdom realm is like someone spreading seed on the ground. So, as human as we are, so pasensyahin niyo na gid yung mga manok namon, guys. Ha? So, you can also say hi to Guapa, to Tikalon, to Suplada. Sorry na sa guwa. Mabatian nyo ginasla, guys. So, yeah. So, ang gatsing ng realm is like someone spreading seed in the ground. As human as we are, we are sinful, Gidya. And before ta pa yan accept that Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we have done so much things na nakadiskis kay Siya. Pero, sang time nga ging accept si Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, that's the beginning that, um, that's the beginning that uh, that's the beginning uh, na nag-grow on spiritual life natin. Pero, it doesn't mean when we accept that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, in a snap of second, bago ka na dahil. Amen. So, nasruggle mo na, nasruggle mo na siya, yan, nasruggle ko man na. So, pero ang inahamba ni Lord is ako, no? Because sometimes you are so eager to 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 see the fruit in us. But not uh, that's not the uh, in SDK. So, pero in Asia, dapat amo ang mindset ta. So, pero ang kin encourage ng Lord sa ako is that um, Jesus also told them this parable God's kingdom realm is like someone spreading seed on the ground. Pero si Moshe, ano ang seed niya na minagin ni Lord? The word of God. Mm, amen. And one of the supporting verses ang ginhatag mo ni Lord sa ako no sa devotional time ko man is that um er oh. sige siya is a 1 Peter 1 verse 23 1 Peter 1 verse 23 for through the eternal and living word of of God you have been born again and this seed that he planted within you can never be destroyed but will live and grow inside of you forever amen so Ano di para si Moshe ang tinahamba na din ni Lord nga for you the eternal live uh, eternal living word of God you have been born again and this seed that he planted within you can never be destroyed so sa verse ni Inisha ng uh, ano di pag describe some seed so there, according to the verse hindi siya maguba ara <laughs> lang siya si mo even even give ikaw mismo nagboya na ang word ni Lord ara gyapon si mo. Hmm, amen. So that's it no. Uh, for through the eternal living, eternal and living word of God, you have been born again. So it means nga ano nagpo-born again sa aton siya? Eh? Jesus. Jesus. And ano ang ano ang gapa continue grow sa aton through this verse? Ang word Amen. So that's the seed. Oh, the seed. So that is our first point, the word of God. So, and and the seed. So, pero ang bali, no, it can never be destroyed, but will live and grow inside of you forever. So, pero ang question, nga, ah, nga, ah, wa ay, gis, ah, ga grow ang seed ni Lord sa ito now. Nga, ah, wa ay, ga, ga, well, wala tang prutas na makitaan. Pero si Moshe, anong isa? Teka, anong isa ka hindrance? Nga, away ga grow ang seed ni Lord sa ito. Self. Self ka. Amen. So, that is one. Para si Shira, ako is ang uh, tayo nga gin paralyze ni Lord sa ito is that na self man. Kag, uh, 
nag-untat ko. Sorry, so kay Lord. So na. God's kingdom realm is like someone spreading seed on the ground. So, ang heart... Oh, sige. Siya, pressin mo ano ang ground na dinagay na namin niya, Lord. Heart kay within me. Mm, amen. So, takto ka siya within me to all. <laughs> so, what I know? Na ang word ni, ah, ang word ni Lord is um, siyang seed. And ang, ang heart ta is the soil. And one of the example of it is ang parable doon ni Jesus na uh, the word of God will be spread sa good soil, sa sa rocky, sa thorn bushes, mm. sa stone. Mm. Yeah, amen. And a good soil. So, from na ang heart ta is the soil and the word of God is amun na siya ang seed ni Lord sa ton. And, as gina ba ko kagina ng we are uh, sinful with ya, for it is the word of God, it is Jesus Christ, ang nagabago sa ton. Pero, we are still spiritual babies. So, that's why we need the word of God. Pero, may mga times kaya guys, ya, yeah, nga, ba? Nga, araba lang, may word si Lord, pero na-discourage, nag-wulpe, kaya ganyan mo, mo ang sala. Diba, Shai? Just like sa kong subong man. Diba? Okay, guys, ano, subong na, there are times, once you let God speak through you, mahatag, mahatag, kaya si Lord sa word, and, Every time nga mahatag si Lord sa word, may command gid na. And right now, may gin command sa kon si Lord. Though it's hard, pero mahambal siya nga kinanglan mo gid siya himoon, pero sa sulod ko, Lord, paano ko siya himoon? Paano ko himoon imo word? And ang hambal to kagina, de ba? Anong ka pa-hinder self? Te kabalo ko self ang ka pa-hinder sa kon so nga himoon ang um, ginapahimo ni Lord and and that thing is gahambal ko Lord maybe maybe hindi ko gid niya kaya ni Lord ya maybe do nag doubt ko nga nga nagbalik ko hindi ko man kaya himuon pero as i recall bala hambal ni Lord hindi na maguba hindi na maguntat ara lang na da mm-hmm. amon na amen so chak to din ang iso um ning question ko shay sorry guys kay on the spot siya Ah. Ang gusto ang ay hindi talaga kasi ang mahimo na. Hindi kasi ang mahimo. So mo na no nang mi discourage mga katabo. Ang ang question ni Shaira paano? And that is the exact question man nga gin ask ko kay Lord paano Lord magbago ang within me. So basahon ko lang ani guys ang reflection ko. Ay pa kunin si Buddha time. Last night, last night, as I was talking to God, I was telling Him that I can still see the fruit of my eight days continuous, non-stop devotional. So this is um, amon nga year. Uh, I think this is the most nilawig bala ang devotional ko and consecutively siya, every day siya. Hindi na sa past, mabasa ko Bible once a week. Tapos tagsun ko din ang devotional guide naman, which it does not produce fruit that much because gindali dali ko siya. Pero sa pagdevo ko ni this year, everyday, may bago nga revelation sa Lord God Adlao. And sa kada revelation niya, may ginapabago siya sa ako ng karakter. And kiss aga, ka-overwhelm na ako nga, Lord! Yes. Uh, Lord, paano ko ni bago ko? May ari ka ginapabago sa ako. Tapos sa pagbago ko naman sa ako sa ako. May ari naman isa. Tapos, ga, ga pile up na lang. So, may time, di ba nga, ma-discourage ka kaya sa spiritual walk mo. May matabo ko na yan siya. Pero, ang word ni Lord, um, Ay, sige, padagyan ko na lang. Uh, I'm afraid that I can fully grasp and do what He wants me to learn because there's a new revelation every day and everything will just be put or written down in paper. I don't know kung same struggle man ka mo. Ikaw siya Na. So, same struggle man nung ay ba lang, hindi, buna lang ko putang sa papel pero bimtan mo naman dahil. And that is what I fear. And everything will just be put or written down in paper that, but not in my life. Unlike when I was, when I just stay in one verse for a week and repeat it to me again and again until I remember it always. Even I'm saying to myself that the Joshua 8, na ba ni Lord niya, meditate on, uh, on my word day and night. Commanded na yan ni Lord. And there's a reason for it. So, wala ko sang reason para maghimo. Sang reason kay Lord na Lord, hindi, nang no, mas applicable ni sa akin. Kung nagambal na ganyan si Lord niya, meditate it day and night. So, mas lang every day. So, man, no, even I'm saying to myself, Joshua 8, the fear and doubt is still coming back. 
But this day, through this verse, God encouraged me to keep doing so because without me knowing, I will just harvest what I've been planting every day. So, nga ni Lord? <coughs> Ang fear ko, the same thing I saw sa gakatabo, sa tao, nga din na-describe man ni Lord. He goes to bed and gets up day after day. And the seed sprouts and grows tall, though he knows not how. Gaka-feel, ikaw siya, gaka-feel mo man na nga everyday, may new revelation sa Lord. Tapos next day, may new revelation naman sa Lord. My times, pero laban-laban sa buong gaka one point at a time. Pero previous devotion was may aragad na ipachange sa sino. Bisan gamay lang, pero this day, another day naman, mm-hmm. lain lain. Lain lain. Amen, babe. So, this day mo na, no, na ang seed dali ni Lord, na ang heart ta, ang ground, ang seed ni Lord, gadugang, na nagadugang every day. Pero, ang bali, he goes to bed and gets up day after day and the seed sprouts and grows tall. So, it means, we, we, we just simply have to do it day by day. Ang aton dikis a nang we are just so eager bala nga makita dayon ang fruit or may ginagota dayon nga dapat makita ni na yun aton hindi. Um, I just want to remind you guys no, kada isa sa aton, ang ginpa-reflect ng Gideon ni Lord sa akon, it is not about us but it is about what God is doing within us. Ang aton nang gidya kailangan ang himoon is to continually surrender to Him because sinful tayo guys ya, yes. Jesus lang gidya ang maka may super, supernatural power ang makapabago sa aton. We just simply have to continue to surrender our ways before Him. Nang acknowledging that we can do nothing without Him. So, He goes to bed and gets up day after day. And, habay, you know, the seed sprouts and grows tall. Tabalo siya or wala? Tabalo siya or wala? Based on verse? Tabalo. Ang, pag, ang pag-grow? Tabalo siya. He knows not how. Tabalo siya kung paano nag-grow? Mm. Hmm. Ay, nang, oo, wala sa kabalo nga mag-grow na or hindi. Oo, oh, pero nung hindi mo, yan lang. Nang, ano na, he goes to bed and gets up day by day. Mm-hmm. Doon, kapadayon, nanggit siya. Mm-hmm. Continually. Yeah. Bisan, wala sa kabalo, kung may pakadtoan. Pero, kabalo siya sa self niya, para na siya. Doon, mm-hmm. kag, in kamad na yung Lord. Kag, ang bali, no, all by itself, it sprouts and the soil produces a crop. First, the stem. So, ang buta din yun, hindi nga, pag habutan ni Lord ng seed, may fruit na tayo, hindi. Nang, it's, <coughs> nang, it's a process. It's a progress. As a normal tree man ba lahaw, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ano danay ng pet, petikot na? O, uh, uh, petikot danay. Di ba yung pagtanong, may bulak na tayo. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, petikot na danay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, muna siya, no? Kat? <coughs> Now, for it, first the green stem, then the head and the stalk, and then the fully developed grain in the head. So, gamat-amat siya, patubo. Pero, for may mga times, kaya guys, yung, uh, ang human frailty sta ng, uh, uh, ng, ang kakaabot, kaya may mga time nga muna. So, ang ito first, first point is the word of God. It is, uh, keeps, uh, it is the thing that keeps us going on in our growth time. Pero, na hindi dapat talion nga may amo ni dayon hindi nang guys hindi gar- guaranteed na wala struggle ng pagbago kay may struggle din iya mm-hmm. pero ang second encouragement ni Lord sa aton as we grow in him is that our prayer time so ano ba ka importante ang prayer time so isa ni sa gin pa realize ni Lord sa akon no and i entitled it starting your day right Hashtag #prayer mark 14 verse 38 haba ni Lord keep alert and pray that you'll be spread from this time of testing for your spirit eh, for your spirit is eager enough but your human your, your humanity is feeble ang ba ni Lord sa akin is that even how eager we are to live our life every day to glorify God but if we don't start it right we will never do it right so nang, how do we start our day right paano ta start atong day right First is to pray. Amen. So why do we need to pray? First, because it sets our mind that we are in a battle. Di ba habali sa verse? Ano ang bagay niya? Siya isa verse? Pakibasa liwa. Keep alert and pray that you will be spared from this time of testing. For your spirit is eager enough, but your humanity is feeble. Amen. So ano kung humanity ito siya? Wala. 
wala inog ano dalang bato inog bato pero ang spirit ano ka ang point is ang ang spirit gusto ang flesh tayo hindi mm, na feel niyo man guys na feel mo na siya eh? always <laughs> oh, na feel ko na siya guys so ba lang gusto mo magglorify sa Lord pero kay ang flesh mo kag ang spirit ni Lord inaway pero kisa ka kadaog ang flesh no and that's why we need to pray and first point is nga ah, because it says it sets our mind that we are in a battle so kung ikaw be kung ikaw siya nang in on the spot kabutang sa battle makabato ka hindi pero what if be keep alert to for me nga ari ko sa battle nang amo ni ang pwede ko pagaagian ma, ma alert ka hindi diba so kamo guys eh, just im- just imagine it so ang prayer really for your life ta isa mo na siya ang the may a uh, set our mind that we're in a battle because as we pray we know that there, that there is a battle naging sensitive ta it makes us alert and sensitive of the schemes of the enemy second it is uh second it sets our mind to our ultimate goal a life for his glory why yaga pray ta because we want to glorify him because we cannot glorify with our own strength so that's why we need to pray it sets our mind to our ultimate goal a life for his glory and last but not the least it reminds you and me uh who is on our side and that is god uh, this battle is not just about us it is about living with god again guys i just simply uh wanted to repeat again and again without him we can do nothing pag ang imparilize mo ni lord sa akin praying is also an act of surrendering mm-hmm. because um sa prayer ta direct ta balaga ka pour out ang heart ta kay lord nga hindi tigid ya kaya we pray not because we are okay we pray because we are not okay and we can do nothing without him kay ang common mindset ta be ma pray ta kay tungod okay ta nang grabe on fire ta kay lord no my blessing ta. my blessing ta pero mo na nang not knowing mas ga work si lord on prayer nga nga broken ka mm-hmm. yeah, man. so si lord no he doesn't <coughs> wala siya ga tulok sa kung kamusta ka or nga kung panib na sabton ang hindi naka base sa kung kamusta ka ang pagsabat sa Ginoo ta pero ang pinaka-importante di kay Lord is ang heart na for me. So, muna. Prayer is also an act of surrendering. You want to win the battle you have right now. I don't know kung anong battle mo. Ako ang battle ko is self-control. Imi is shy. Namo. Basta. So, ano? So, praying, you want to win your battle. Hamba ni Lord, keep alert and pray. All battles are always won through prayer. Remember, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane kung paano ginwi ni Lord ang great testing man para sa akong si iya ha is that ni verse na sa New Testament niya Jesus prayed isang time na ipa-crucify ni siya bala sa crucifixion so iyan ang crucifixion Jesus prayed and that time nag- nag-shed blood pa siya gani sa sweat niya and wala gito yung strength si Lord si, si, si Lord Jesus pero when he prayed God gave him the supernatural power the strength and isa pa guys ka encouragement no why we need to pray is that our own amba ni lord hebrews 12 verse 12 to 13 so be made strong even in your weakness by lifting up your tired hands in prayer and worship and strength your weak needs for as you keep walking forward on god's paths all your stumbling ways will be divinely healed so have you fallen down this time? May na fall ka ba this past few weeks or this past few days? Nga feeling mo discouraged ka na mag-go on, magbaguliwat. From ba ni Lord sa to, no? So be made strong even in your weakness by lifting up your tired hands in prayer. God knows your condition right now. God knows our condition right now. Quick kid ta ya. Siya yung mismo naghambal na a humanity is feeble. Wala the strength to to combat what is the spiritual thing. So, I know, being disciplined is really a tiresome process. Ako, gina-discipline ako ni Lord sa pagiging self-control. I don't know kung anong gina-discipline yan ni Lord sa ino. 
Pero ang bani Lord, no, kung sino bala ang nanamian, magdisiplina. Kung ma- ginadisiplina ka siya, kakasadyahan ka. Ano ka pinag-inyan? Inaway ka gani, diba? Inaway ka kami gani, diba? Tari sa am siya, guys. Kapoy siya. <clears throat> Yan, nakamba ko nga muni, no? Guys, again, I really encourage you that as we read the passages, go through the WhatsApp. Kung chapter 12, bigyan na basa sa subong, basa ahalin yung verse 1. I really encourage you to read within the context. So, ang bali din, no? Ang bali, no? Sa verse 11, balahaw. Now, all discipline seems to be more pain than pleasure. Si Lord ka balo, so ninagiyanta, guys. Be more pain than pleasure at the time. Yet, later, it will produce a transform of character. Bringing a harvest of righteousness and peace to those who yield on it. So, ang bali, Lord, now all discipline seems to be more in pain. Kahit ano nga verse? Verse 11. Kag again share ko gina sa inyo. Also be made strong even in your weakness. Verse 12 to siya guys. So kabalo si Lord niya. Gakapuyanta sa disiplina ginatag niya. There are some press especially that you have to continually struggle with yourself. It's not about the other people. Actually, ang most great, ang greatest enemy ta is ano ganit siya? Self ta. Sa, yeah. Ang realization ko, wala sa muna nga first, uh, di ba, naghambal na si Lord nga, He is near to a broken hearted. I realize nga, each and every day, we are broken hearted. Hindi lang na to, no, ako, balahaw. Kay, kay hambal to, di ba, ninang Marion, ang flesh ta, hindi, hindi ya kaya magbato sa spirit nga within us. Kay, di ba, hambal to, the spirit is eager, but our flesh is people mm-hmm. na naka ang gin realize lang ni Lord is we are acknowledge that we are all always a broken heart bala nga nga ang broken heart nga ginanamin ko is broken heart nga Lord na fail ko nga mag glorify ka Lord na fail doka man bala doka ipakita ta nga nga, nga broken ta kay nagputa shame sa iya name mm-hmm. pero Pero ang humble da, gani, de ba? He is near to a broken hearted. O tod nang fail ka pero near siya gyapon si mo. Mm-hmm. Amo na ang ang love bala ni Lord how. Mm-hmm. So amo na siya. So <clears throat> as you let yourself to be disciplined by God and be changed, you have now to face against yourself in order to get out from the norms that displease God. So ang norms siya daan is the ways that displease God. Flesh kung flesh lang himuon ang amo ni pero against niya kay Lord. Pero um, against the against the flesh is life, which is the, which is the spirit. So, na matamata, pakaputo pa, ni Lord. Pero amon um, siya gani yung people no. Ang gusto lang din naman ipabot is that um you may feel weak right now, you may feel tired right now. Pero God knows about it. But sa word gani gina, uh, God's kingdom, ga, uh, the realm of God's kingdom is like a seed. Na sige sige halang bala. Um, and as we, and ano no, ng share ko lang mismo. Actually, um, ang, ang ako na devotion na is kisa kisa ko lang yung siya ginashare sa iba na tao, sa mga disciples, ng yung interesting words sa akin. Because ang devotion na ko, ang devotional notebook kay ni, it talks about my life, it talks about my journey with God. And kung basa ako ni guys, may mga hindi na yung hindi niya Because Ay, hindi siya dasigay ang pagbagos ng ginoo. Process, gijaya. Pero ang gin-encourage ng ni Lord is to walk with Him day by day. Walk with Him day by day. Ang hambal, hindi no? As you keep walking forward on God's path, all your stumbling ways will be divinely healed. So, ang ginakamad ni Lord sa ton, are you tired? Keep moving forward to the Lord. Siya mismo naghambal, as you draw near to God, He will draw near to you. Just keep moving. Nang he knows you are tired, from encouragement ka, pray. I'll lift your tired hands in prayer and worship. He knows your heart. Kag, ambaya, ambaman ni Lord, the promises are good, but the process is hard. We just have to simply go through the discipline. Kag, ambaman ni Lord, discipline may be more pain than pleasure. Sinubi na nga ka namin yan, sang disiplina, wala aman guru, di ba? Pero nga ba ni Lord, at that time, so ano ba na meaning sang at that time, certain time, may season, kasubong may season, man kung may season, man si Shaira. Pero, ang amun na nga season, yung ginapaagi ni Lord sa atin, there is a reason for it. 
na agi na pagi niya na because gina transform yung character ta w- wala nang he is with you you are not alone we just simply have to keep on surrendering be- before him acknowledging that we are nothing without him yeah it is still about his grace it's not about doing the devotion it's still, it's not just about praying it's not about just worshiping but um, as we do it it is must be with him so Ang ba man ni Lord noon na last na lang guys about sa life ni siya ni Elijah. Um James 5 verse 17, Elijah was a man with human frailties. Do you feel him? Human frailties no word. Weak, feeble. Sa ginago through if we were if kung basahon ng life ni Elijah no, there's a moment of time na naging weak siya. Na hindi niya kaya ang journey niya with the Lord. Just like all of us. But he prayed and received supernatural powers. We just simply have to come to him. It's not about how strong you are. It's about um, what is your situation right now. God accepts you as who you are. And how about Miss Money Lord? He, um, he, dis- he despises who are proud, but he exalts those who are humble. It's not about us, young people. It's not about our own strength. It's about Jesus Christ within us. Kag, balik ta sa verse ta kagina, no? Na, muto, all by itself, it sprouts, and this, uh, verse 28, uh, all by itself, it sprouts, and the soil produces a crop. First, the green stem, and then the head on the stalk, and then the fully developed green in the head. I don't know kung din ka nisipon sa spiritual growth mo. Pero mahabal ko, ara pa lang ko gyapon sa first the green stem. Ara pa lang ko da, ambot kong kamo, ara na, kundiin na kamo. It will be a long, long, long journey. Yes. Pero, ang, yeah, amen din na. Pero, ginamba, kung man ganyan mismo kay Shaira, no? Ang in-speak lang ginagin ni Lord sa, sa akon is that we will all grow together. We will all grow, grow together. We are all eat in equal footing before the Lord. Wala asang leader, wala asang may nauna, wala asang may naulili. We are all in equal footing before the Lord. Same ng Japan ang season ta. Uh, we, we are undergoing different season, pero only for one reason, and that is to glorify Him. Our so, life is a race, balahaw. Just like in share ko bala kagina kay ng Marion, ng uh, past years, may nabasahan ko ang isa ka baka encouragement siya. Ang Christian walk or race is it's not about finish finishing it first but it is about you keep running until you reach for the goal pala how mm-hmm. kay some of us neglected nya nya ay maran ko kay tungod gusto ko mauna mm-hmm. amo ko na mo nang i keep on looking someone nya ahead na ara na to lapit na sa finish line let's say be pero it's a long long journey pa dahil na huwari pa ko di katatlo pa lang katikang halin sa starting line but no, as long as you keep on walking or moving forward, balahaw ang nahambal to ni ng Marion nga hindi ko malipatan is kung hindi ka nakalagan, lakat hindi ka nakalakat, kamang kung hindi ka nakakamang, ligid as long as you go on, bala mm-hmm. um, Amen <coughs> So, muli na, uh, yung people no, na, I don't know, kamusta sa buong ang kadaisa sa atun Okay, especially now why na kita nai. Pero if time comes that you're very cold before the Lord, rely on His strength. Ang conclusion, malanggit sa tanan ni guys, is that it is about Him. It is not about us doing devotional, prayer time, worship. No, ang gatag sa fire sa ton is Jesus Himself, ang source kaysa sa tanan. If you will ask me, na may amagabot man nga time, super 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 duper cold ang imo mga relationship with Lord. Yes, definitely. You may see, you may see me sometimes as strong, but I am not. Uh, I may, I may fake faces before you, but I cannot fake my face before the Lord. And abi ko sa una, na kung um a spiritual journey is it's it's about um your strength na ipush mo sa mundo, pero much greater ang fruit of si Jesus mismo ang magawpo si mo. What I'm saying is, is for example, uh one thing that I always do, especially kung super duper duper super duper cold, hindi ko kaya Lord, is that I just simply tell him the truth, but cold, hindi ko ba lang sa inyo. 
Um, and I am I don't feel I'm doing my devotional. But Lord, um speak to my heart. Ikaw Lord ang maga uh, maga work mismo sa heart ko. And um out of realization, uh wao ni Lord ang matamat ang mga desires ko sa world. For example, kwao niya ang desire ko sa paglantaw TV. I don't know kung anong desire ni nahatag sa buong sang world sa inyo. Lantaw TV, lantaw gay ah, ng hampang games, ML, ML ng tulog, I don't know, <laughs> or maybe kaon, wala ako kabalo. Ang mga na sa akon. So, <clears throat> parang na ano, ng, I'm just simply ask God, and definitely, He will do something in your life. As long as your heart is hearing, as your uh, ears is listening before Him, as your eyes keeps opening on him, you are not alone in this race. So, ang point ng gate is, ang continue on your uh, one step at a time with your growth in the Lord. Don't be discouraged. Um, just pray. I read the Bible. Pray every day as you grow, grow, grow with Him. Abide in Him. So, uh, that's it. Um, let us all pray together as we roast this fellowship. Let's pray. Um, yes, Father God, Lord, um, I pray for all the people, uh, for all the young people out there, Lord God. Um, I may not know how they are spiritually, but Lord, um, we all know that we have one God, and that is You. And mas ikaw ang kakita sa amoy, kag kung paano mo ang ginpalangga ang isa, Lord God. It is equal for each and every one, Lord. Lord, I just simply pray, Lord God, that um, na ikaw, Lord, maga um, create someone's heart some thirst and hunger for your word and help us Lord God to enjoy your presence before us um, Lord thank you God, for loving <coughs> us thank you for being with us every day thank you for speaking to us Lord God Lord I, I ask for your help and Lord ikaw good Lord mismo man mag space sa mga young people na mamati subong kag and so, many shire, shire, Lord God, hide us in the shadow of your wings, cover us with the precious blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. So, Lord, I surrender all the young people before you, and I hope, Lord God, na, um, they are encouraged, Lord God, by your word. So, Lord, be praises and glory be upon your name. All this is my name, with the Bible Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening to us. See you next, next, next Friday. Next Next Friday. Next, next Friday. Pero sinungway mo naman ang oh, week. Sinungway naman. Uh-huh. Wala kami ito. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, keep safe ng stay hydrated kay kainit. Mm-hmm. Kag stay safe everyone. Social distancing. Kag pray good para sa mga Aton world. Mm-hmm. Kay lapit na lang ah. Kaya ga-work si Lord sa Aton. Bye-bye. God yeah. loves you all. Bye-bye.